this isn't your mother's Tupperware party. Social selling events in private homes are growing in popularity. And joining us from L.A. to tell us more is WSJ fashion reporter Christina Binkley. Hi, Christina. Hi, Tanya. So, Christina, why do women in particular seem to like getting together at a friend's house to buy things? You know, somebody told me that women are wired for relationships. I think it's probably true. But when I first heard about this, I, th I thought about nothing but the inconveniences of having to go to somebody's house on a particular night at a particular time, not have the right sizes to try on, so kind of guess, place an order, and then wait a week or two or three to actually get the stuff that I had ordered. Why would anybody want to do that, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it seems to go against everything that we're hearing about the way people shop now, which is for immediate gratification. Yeah, exactly. Um, I went to one of these parties, as a matter of fact, here in Los Angeles, and what I found people talking about was, yeah, the clothes, they liked the clothes, but what they really liked was the friendship and the companionship. Most of the women there were, uh, well, actually, there was an 11-year-old there and there was an 86-year-old, so there was a, a wide variety of but the core of these 16 women were um, sort of 35 to, to 60, I'd say. Some of them had children at home that most of them worked, and they were looking for some fun mixed with the pleasure of shopping. So it became an, an issue. It was like a girlfriend tonight. So is it a little bit like a party? There's a little food and wine thrown into the yeah. mix? Yeah, I had my first beer margarita. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had, there were wine glasses everywhere. I have to confess, I am invited to more trunk shows and sales in people's apartments, being in New York City, these days than ever before. I don't know if, if that is reflective of what you're seeing, but I swear there was one this morning that I missed. <laughs> Yeah, jewelry, right? Baskets, homewares, clothing. I mean, it covers the gamut of what we can buy in most department stores. And are the prices, are, are people getting a deal? Are they paying more? I mean, other than the socializing, is there any reason to go to these things from a consumer perspective? Um, well, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's, you're not going to save any money on any of these things. I mean, Avon never billed itself as being cheaper than anything else. Tupperware, I don't believe was. I've never actually attended a Tupperware party. I think the clothes are, you know, you see the clothes up close or the products that you're, you're going to get or samples of them. But the, the real thing, it's, it's not just sort of socializing. There is also that sort of advising that goes on. So women like to buy things and get opinions from other women, right? And sure. that's something that happens. I saw that that, that whole night long, women would try something something on, um, and then they'd ask all the other women who were standing around them what they thought. That's actually a very good point. It's always fun to get someone's opinion before you shell out the big bucks. But I guess you just can't beat the combo of socializing and shopping, can you? <laughs> That's it. For women, I'm not sure this is a male thing. This That's true. That's true. All right. Thank you so much, Christina, for that.